the judge um, is essentially kicked the can down the road. But for now, um, she's blocked um, the Trump administration's unilateral reduction of the NIH indirect rates capped at 15 percent. Um, and she's going to decide whether to make it a permanent injunction. But whatever she decides, it's not going to be the end of the story. Um, it's going to be appealed probably all the way up to the Supreme Court um, because it's of enormous consequence um, uh, to the United States and to the rule of law. The United States, through Congress, um, developed the, these close partnerships with um, universities around the country um, to build up their scientific enterprise. Um, and they need in the indirect rates to be able to uh, develop laboratories, a career, young career scientists and training, um, and to, to do all of the things that keeps the computers humming and the lights on. I think uh, the Trump administration and NIH don't really have a legal leg to stand on um, for many, many reasons. Um, to begin with, um, it applies to contracts we've already signed with universities around the country. Congress itself um, understands why this is so important to American innovation and our economy and have required um, the NIH um, to do these kind of individualized negotiations with universities to, for indirect rates. So it would be breaking um, a law that Congress has passed.